Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Elementor tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together a few sections here with the Elementor plugin. See how easy it is to actually build a site with Elementor. And so far, so good. It's really easy. Elementor is a free plugin for WordPress. And for a free plugin, it works really well. So do check it out if you're building with WordPress. Okay, so we've built a few sections now. What we want to do is create a menu up here that will actually scroll to the sections that we've built. So let's go to our dashboard. Well, firstly, let's give our sections some CSS IDs so we can actually point the menus to them. So if I hit the edit with Elementor button, And let's go down to the first one that we're going to want to navigate to. I won't do the home because that'll be just home anyway. So we'll do the about section. I'm going to click on the little blue tab here. The little tab in the middle with the six dots. Go over to the right hand side to advanced. And give it a CSS ID, not a class, an ID. I'll call it just about keep it simple so I can uh, remember what it is out about and we'll do the same thing from the services section six little dots over to the advanced tab CSS ID services we'll skip that section don't want to jump there with the menu we'll do projects And again, six little dots. Over to advance. I won't do any more. I'm sure you get the idea. Project. So there's three. Oops, I might want to spell that wrong. Right. If you spell it wrong, it will not work. Projects, that's better. So now I'm going to hit the update button. And that's it. We can exit to dashboard. Let's actually create the menu that we want. So if we go down to appearance and then menus, I'm going to use the one I've got selected here, or you can create a new one by hitting this little link up here. Okay. So I'm going to use custom links, not pages. Just click on where it says custom links, it'll open up. First link URL, I'm just going to give it a hashtag. If you do that, it'll just go to the top of the page and I'm going to use that for the home page. So in the link text, I'm going to write home, add that to menu. Next one, I'm going to do the about section that we called about. So I'm going to say hashtag about. And when you put a hashtag in front of something and the name, it'll jump to the CSS ID. And that's what we called that section. We gave it a CSS ID of about. So you can call it about or about us, whatever you want. Next one we did, I think, was services. And we called that CSS ID of services. So it's hashtag services and it doesn't have to be the same name the link text can be any, anything you want uh, so you can use whatever IDs you want when you're putting in CSS IDs you want to make sure they're unique you only want one it wants to be different IDs for every ID you create unlike classes you can use multiple classes but elements really have to have unique CSS IDs, services, projects, I believe was the next one. Hashtag projects.
and we didn't do any more but I'm just gonna add one more I'll just put a hashtag you have to put something in there you have to put something in there when you're creating custom links to actually be able to add it to the menu now once it's in the menu you can actually get rid of that if you want it to just be a dead link so that hashtag would take it to the top of the page okay so there's a few now we've done it let's save our menu that's fine now we want to go to our theme customizer and tell our theme that we want to use this menu that we've called new here so let's go to the customizer I'm using the 2017 free theme with WordPress here. Most of them will have a customizer and this is where, the, where you'll do it. And I'm gonna to go to menus on the left hand side there. And I've got two to choose from. And it'll actually show you them and you can drag these to different places if you want to if you want something to be a sub menu or a sub menu item just drag it slightly to the right it'll drop it down under and as you can see that'll appear as a sub menu there and you can build sub sub menus sub 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 menus however you like to do it there but all I was doing is left clicking and dragging to put it where I want it now we've chosen the menu we'll just hit the publish and there it is now if we exit go back to the dashboard and let's visit our site it should look exactly the way it did with that when we had the customizer open and there it is and there's our new menu let's see if these will work when I click on these they should scroll down to the individual sections that we marked I don't think I did too many so let's try about us there we go that's taking us down there services it's taking us to our services projects it's taking us to our projects and contact us I didn't do anything remember we just put a hashtag in for the home that should take us back to the top there we go so that's how easy it is to construct a one page scrolling menu for your website using the Elementor plugin as I say Elementor is a free plugin it's really good for a free pl plugin so uh, I do recommend you take a look at it and as I said before, we're using the WordPress 2017 theme here for this example. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, have a look below the video. We've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.